Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Addiction. Today, you're with Oakley and Captain Gary. As you know, you watched last week's show. You did watch, didn't you? Because you're such dedicated viewers. Our rabbits are ready. Our seasoning's ready. I'm going to teach you how to cook rabbits today, but we're not going to make a stew. What we're going to do is go back down south, southern style, with buttermilk, fried rabbit. I'm telling you what, after you eat this, no restaurant will ever make you happy again. That's almost a Captain Gary guarantee. You stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's Captain Gary here. Not only will you find me in a boat, you'll always find me in the fall in my deer stand. After I get my deer and it's time to have it processed, I always go to my friends, Dennis Miller at Willow Valley Trades in Shipshawana, Indiana. Trust me when I tell you the best venison sticks for a snack are always found at Willow Valley Trades. They are delicious and you be sure to tell Dennis Captain Gary sent you. Hey, welcome to One Stop Furniture and Mattress. You've come to the right place. Here at One Stop Furniture, we offer everything from dining rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, including mattresses, and so much more. We really are your one-stop shop for all of your home needs. And your biggest benefit, besides excellent prices, we hold inventory of most items and we'll sell to you straight off the showroom floor. No waiting months for your order. Give us a call at 574-322-2012. If you need help hauling your classic vehicle anywhere in the United States, there's only one name to consider. That name? Gary Strait of StraightRoads.com. Gary Strait. He drives all over this great land of ours. I guess you could say he's an outdoor addict. Check him out, won't you? Enclosed vehicle transport at its finest. StraightRoads.com. That's StraightRoads.com. Hey, I love the outdoors just like you do, but the reality is in Indiana, we can't live outdoors most days. We need a roof over our head. Did you know it's possible to buy a brand new home with little or no cash outlay and monthly payments comparable to rent? I'm talking about your own yard, your own appliances, your own garage for a payment monthly comparable to renting. Call me for details at Granite Ridge Builders. At Tackle Shack in Middlebury, the knowledgeable staff, superior service, and high-end fishing baits, lures, and accessories are what they're known for. From Garmin's real-time live scan sonar to Mega Bass, Kitech brands, Shimano reels, and G Loomis rods. At Tackle Shack, they also install what they sell in their very own facility. Trust the pros at Tackle Shack when you stop by at 304 North Main in Middlebury. Visit them online as well. Tackle Shack, fish on. It's a fact, A&B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg is known for their property management and landscaping. They've been in business since 2000. They feature mushroom compost, perfect around trees and in your garden, boulders, landscape stone, river rock, 73 limestone, building pads, shredded topsoil, and more. No load is too big or too small at A&B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg. All right, so one thing I love about rabbit versus squirrel, if you've ever cleaned squirrels before, they take a while. It is hard to get all the fur off of them. Rabbits, piece of cake. I got them clean. I did not show you all that part. I spared you the details. Those of you that don't like butchering, 
But here's the rabbit. These are the whole rabbits right there. Now I want to show you how we're going to get these ready for, for frying. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do, just double check, make sure everything's off of them. But here's what you do. We're going to do the legs. So you're just going to take a good sharp knife. You're going to find that bone. You're going to cut through that leg. You ready? Here we go. Just like that. There's a leg ready for you. Look at that. Same thing over here. You can bend it back a little bit. Get that leg right there's the joint. Cut through. There you are. Another leg. These front legs you can do a couple different ways and I'll show you that. What I like to do then divide up. Go about two and a half inches. Cut through the spine. There's another piece of fresh rabbit ready to go. Let's do this. Let's split this front and back up a little bit. Let's cut through that. There's another piece of rabbit ready to fry. This front, this time, I'm just going to leave the legs on. That's whole. Right there's one rabbit ready to go. Let's do another one in case you missed that. So we're going to split that a little bit. We're going to have this back leg ready to go. There we are. There's a leg. Back here. This is just like a when you're eating chicken legs, it's the same thought. Oh, that is a tough bone right there. Let's go back just a little bit. See if we can get through that. There we go. All right. Man, that was a tough old rabbit right there. Good night. The other side went really easy. This side, not so much. There we go. But look at that. When you fry that, I mean, that is a big, that is a big rabbit. Obviously, that's the one I shot, not Chucky. Now, again, we got that back in. We'll cut this off right in here. Let's get rid of that. I should have had that trimmed earlier, but I didn't. Man, he is tough right there. That is an old rabbit. Ugh, there we go. Now, we'll just discard that. Now, again, let's work our way up. Go about that far. Make our cut through the backbone. Nice piece of rabbit. That'll be great when that's fried up. Right up here, let's split the difference again for the most part. Right here, make our cut. There we go. Look at that. Another nice piece of rabbit ready to go. Now on this front end, we can take this leg off if you want to and discard the rest. That's just personal preference. Look at that. Beautiful piece of meat ready to fry. Let's do the same this time on this side. There we go. And then we'll discard that. One more to go. Now this guy was shot pretty bad in the front, so I've already cut that part off. We'll just go back and around this leg again. Look at that. I'm talking that is nice piece of meat right there. Genuine rabbit leg. Let's go back here again. Oakley is very interested in this whole process. Oakley, you're not a rabbit dog. But Oakley would like a rabbit right now. Let's get through this backbone again. There we go. Strip that out. And actually, I'm just going to do that right there. I'm just going to strip that right off that bone and take that meat and take that meat and back here. Now, I just made a boneless. Look at that. It's almost like butterfly pork chops. Very good piece of rabbit meat. And then some of this, again, you hunted rabbits so it can be a little shot up. Let's do one more right here. Break that spine again. And there is another nice piece of rabbit that's going to be ready to go. All right. That's how I clean rabbits. That's how I get them all ready. But look at that. Rabbit leg delight. I mean, when we fry that up, that's going to be absolutely incredible. So we went out. We shot the rabbit. I just showed you how to bring it in, process it. When we come back, I'm going to show you my secret mix, and then we're going to let it soak all night. Tomorrow we'll come back and fry it up. You're with Captain Gary, Outdoor Addiction.
Dutchman Hunting Supplies in Shipshawana is your home for quality firearms, ammo, fishing, archery, tree stands, clothing, optics, and everything outdoors. Get fantastic value when you shop great name brands like Bowtech, Hoyt, Matthews, Savage, Winchester, Browning, and many more. Visit Dutchman Hunting Supplies at 8435 West US 20 in Shipshawana. Call 260-768-3283. That's 260-768-3283. Hey, I love the outdoors just like you do, but the reality is in Indiana, we can't live outdoors most days. We need a roof over our head. Did you know it's possible to buy a brand new home with little or no cash outlay and monthly payments comparable to rent? I'm talking about your own yard, your own appliances, your own garage for a payment monthly comparable to renting. Call me for details at Granite Ridge Builders. Hey, welcome to One Stop Furniture and Mattress. You've come to the right place. Here at One Stop Furniture, we offer everything from dining rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, including mattresses, and so much more. We really are your one-stop shop for all of your home needs. And your biggest benefit besides excellent prices, we hold inventory of most items and we'll sell to you straight off the showroom floor. No waiting months for your order. Give us a call at 574-322-2012. Hi, it's Pastor Gary Sheets, and I want to tell you about my friends over at GasPumpFreedom.com. That's GasPumpFreedom.com. Did you realize you can lower your fuel bill by up to 20% and reduce emissions by up to 80%? How's it possible? Look over at my friends at GasPumpFreedom.com and their incredible Accelerate fuel tabs. You'll be glad you did. Ron's Taxidermy, a world-class and full-time mounting studio right here in Michiana. From game heads, small mammals and birds, to life-size and exotics, including specialty and novelty items. And of course, it's never too late for skin mount fish or reproductions. So check out my personal friends at Ron's Taxidermy, located close to home in Union, Michigan. All right, so here we go. Now, I don't know that this is a big secret recipe. It's just southern style. You can't go down south without your buttermilk. So we're going to start with buttermilk today. That's going to be our main ingredient. So I just use a crock pot again. Obviously, we're not cooking in the crock pot. We're just using it to put the rabbit in. So how much is that? About a half a gallon of buttermilk. Then we have ground thyme. Oops, I guess I don't have to unscrew that. All right, ground time, just guess. About that much, and about that much, and a hair more. What that's going to do is not only flavor it, it helps break the meat down so that it's tender. All right, next ingredient, paprika. Just a little bit of paprika. I don't measure this stuff. This is just from my mom and watching her and my cousins make rabbit. All right, the next thing garlic powder the same thing take a little guess that again flavor and break down the meat now this is for flavor only minced onions doing it the easy way just a little bit of those you don't want a ton of those in there at least i don't it's not my preference and then the sea salt from the grinder you're ready to go just a little bit of that in there again salt helps break meat down all right, we get all that in there. We are done. It's that simple. So let me grab something to stir this all up with. Let's get this all stirred up. Now, again, here's what's going to happen next. As soon as we get this all mixed up, we're going to put the rabbit in here, make sure it's all coated good, and then it's going to go in the refrigerator all night, um, at least 12 hours. I would do maybe more than 12 hours, but it's going to give it flavor, 
It's going to make it more tender. Now, rabbit is naturally tender anyhow. Look at that leg. I mean, that is a nice leg. That is going to be so good. So, same thing. Every piece. No need to make it last all night. Just get them in there. Get that all stirred around. Get that worked in really good. I'm telling you right now, if you've never had rabbit before, look at that. That's basically like the breast of a chicken, except that's rabbit. I mean, it smells so good right now. This buttermilk, this southern style. And so that's how we do it. You see that half a gallon of buttermilk? That's enough to do three rabbits. They average two to three pounds a piece, so you can figure that out. How many pieces did we get? About six pieces a piece out of each rabbit, something like that. So about three rabbits will feed a few people, but I'm telling you that is lean protein. There's hardly no fat in rabbit at all. Healthy meal, you're gonna love it. And so we're gonna let that soak all night. Tomorrow, you'll join us right back here. Well, it'll be tomorrow here. It'll be about two minutes before you'll see it again. Let it soak all night. Then I'm gonna show you how to fry this up a little batter I use, it's going to be incredible. Thanks for watching Outdoor Addiction. If you need help hauling your classic vehicle anywhere in the United States, there's only one name to consider. That name? Gary Strait of StraightRoads.com. Gary Strait. He drives all over this great land of ours. I guess you could say he's an outdoor addict. Check him out, won't you? Enclosed vehicle transport at its finest. StraightRoads.com. That's StraightRoads.com. Dutchman Hunting Supplies in Shipshawana is your home for quality firearms, ammo, fishing, archery, tree stands, clothing, optics, and everything outdoors. Get fantastic value when you shop great name brands like Bowtech, Hoyt, Matthews, Savage, Winchester, Browning, and many more. Visit Dutchman Hunting Supplies at 8435 West US 20 in Shipshawana. Call 260-768-3283. That's 260-768-3283. Hi, it's Pastor Gary Sheets, and I want to tell you about my friends over at GasPumpFreedom.com. That's GasPumpFreedom.com. Did you realize you can lower your fuel bill by up to 20% and reduce emissions by up to 80%? How's it possible? Look over at my friends at GasPumpFreedom.com and their incredible Accelerate fuel tabs. You'll be glad you did. Ron's Taxidermy, a world-class and full-time mounting studio right here in Michiana. From game heads, small mammals and birds, to life-size and exotics, including specialty and novelty items. And of course, it's never too late for skin mount fish or reproductions. So check out my personal friends at Ron's Taxidermy, located close to home in Union, Michigan. It's a fact. A&B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg is known for their property management and landscaping. They've been in business since 2000. They feature mushroom compost, perfect around trees and in your garden, boulders, landscape stone, river rock, 73 limestone, building pads, shredded topsoil, and more. No load is too big or too small at A&B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg. Hey, it's Captain Gary here. Not only will you find me in a boat, you'll always find me in the fall in my deer stand. After I get my deer and it's time to have it processed, I always go to my friends, Dennis Miller at Willow Valley Trades in Shipshawana, Indiana. Trust me when I tell you the best venison sticks for a snack are always found at Willow Valley Trades. They are delicious and you be sure to tell Dennis Captain Gary sent you. Well, welcome back. You can see Captain Gary's kitchen has taken over a little bit. I'm not the one who made all the cookies. My wife has been up early this morning making Buckeyes, making frosting, putting frosting on the cookies that she made last night. But we are back and I want to show you now my secret for these rabbits. Now I want to tell you something. Our entire refrigerator smells great. 
because as you'll recall we soaked these rabbits all night it's been hours and hours and that's what you really want to do for the best tasting rabbit you can possibly have now this dredging I have is no big secret let me show you what that is that is nothing more than all-purpose flour that's it I really don't have a secret because here's why by letting that meat soak all night the meat has the flavor not the crust not the outside and so here's the deal on this we're using a very basic flour I'm not even gonna put salt pepper Lowry salt nothing in this dredging just flour because all the flavor is going to be in the rabbit meat so there you go this is going to be delicious let me show you how easy this is join me right there's one of those big legs we talked about i mean that has got a lot of meat on it literally you know how to do this we're just going to dredge it now if you are one of those people you like crispy just go right back in a little bit get a little more there you are we wet that down again we go right back in look at that now you have double dredged double breaded rabbit leg and then of course that's going to go right in the grease there we go now see how that grease didn't pop this is also you see that that's why i use a lot of paper towel see how that grease didn't pop that's that's the perfect temperature again just like when cooking thick fish you don't want to cook this fast what you want to do is make sure that it has time to cook thoroughly you want to make sure with all meats just like chicken pork steak and now rabbit you want to make sure it's completely cooked so let me do a couple more here again and you do it however you want you can dredge it through once or twice in the flour whatever you like i like kind of a crispy batter so I'm going to go back in again, wet that up again, bring it right back in the flour. Again, nothing fancy here, no big secret recipe, just regular old flour. But see how that double dredge, now look how thick that is. I mean, that is a nice piece right there. That's a nice, nice piece of rabbit. We're going to put that in there. Let's do one more. Still got a little bit of room same thing again get that flour worked in there good you're gonna get a little bit dirty it's good for you don't be scared of flour it can't hurt you that one took really well but let's go ahead and double dredge it again so we wet that back down with our mix that buttermilk has been soaking in this rabbit all night this is going to be incredibly good. All right, we got room for one more. Let's get that in there. Now we're just going to let that cook. I'm going to clean my hands off here. We're going to let that cook. Let me turn that over for you and get my hands cleaned off. I talked to my brother Larry last night. You know him. He's been on our show. He said, you know, I haven't had rabbit since our grandma Hammersley used to cook it for us all the time. So I may have to take, may have to make a run to Columbia City, take him some rabbit. But you can see that's cooking perfectly. I mean, look at that. Is that the most beautiful rabbit you've ever seen? We're just going to keep letting that cook. Then, of course, we're going to do the rest of these. And when we come back, you're going to see the finished project, product. You're going to see how good it tastes. You'll have to see it, but then you need to make your own so that you can taste it. You're with Captain Gary. We're cooking rabbit. It's a great day. This is going to be delicious. Hey, I love the outdoors just like you do, but the reality is in Indiana, we can't live outdoors most days. We need a roof over our head. Did you know it's possible to buy a brand new home with little or no cash outlay and monthly payments comparable to rent? I'm talking about your own yard, your own appliances, your own garage for a payment monthly comparable to renting. Call me for details at Granite Ridge Builders. Welcome home. Welcome home. 
Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hi, it's Pastor Gary and Kim Sheets. I think our congregation said it best. Welcome home. At Tackle Shack in Middlebury, the knowledgeable staff, superior service, and high-end fishing baits, lures, and accessories are what they're known for. From Garmin's real-time live scan sonar to Mega Bass, Kitech brands, Shimano reels, and G Loomis rods. At Tackle Shack, they also install what they sell in their very own facility. Trust the pros at Tackle Shack. When you stop by at 304 North Main in Middlebury, visit them online as well. Tackle Shack, fish on. All right, we are back. So what we learned today, with three rabbits, you can average about 10 to 12 minutes a rabbit because this took a little over 30 minutes, but I want you to see this. Some of this I double dredged, some of it I single dredged, some of it I didn't hardly put any flour on. Look at that. Now that is a fine piece of rabbit. Now something I need to remind you is, I did go old school on this. I went cast iron skillet, I went with vegetable oil, Took about a half hour to fry this up, but look at that. You tell me where else you can go and get this kind of good food, because here's the deal. I know we all go to the grocery store, but I did a little, little different this week with Chucky. We went to God's grocery store, where the food is free. And so this is what it ends up. You bring them home, you butcher them, you dress them, you get them ready to go, and then look at that. Perfect fried rabbit. Now, I want to do say one thing. I want to say one thing. Next week is our Christmas special. I hope you'll join us on Christmas morning. For that show, I'm really not going to be Captain Gary. I'm going to be Pastor Gary. Going to read the Christmas story to you out of the Bible. Going to introduce you to our brand new grandson. We've got quite a show for you next Sunday morning on Christmas Day. But for now, here's what I would do. Make you up a bunch of homemade mashed potatoes make some gravy out of this rabbit grease left over in the cast iron skillet, you will have a meal that will blow your mind. Now, if you are kind enough, I want to hold this up here for you. If you're kind enough to give this a try, will you drop me a note at Captain Gary's show? That's Captain Gary's with an S. Captain Gary's show at gmail.com. Let me know what you or your family thought of this fried rabbit. It's grandma's recipe, southern style, lots of buttermilk, and now, rabbit. It's what's for dinner tonight at Captain Gary's. Want you all to have a blessed weekend. God bless you. Thank, for, thank you for being such faithful viewers. We'll see you next Sunday, Christmas, right here on ABC 57.